now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. A former lecturer at UCLA was arrested on Tuesday after police allege he emailed an 800-page manifesto and posted videos threatening violence against the school after he previously sent messages he would punch and kill a female professor. Now, your Matthew Harris was arrested in Colorado following a standoff at his Boulder apartment, and while the police in California and Colorado see this as an isolated incident, uh, when I take a critical examination of Matthew Harris's alleged behavior, it fits the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And it's clear to me that your Matthew Harris had some serious issues that go back as far as 2019. Now, back in 2019, this is where the woman who your Matthew Harris alleges was alleged to have been stalking says that she first met him. And on her first meeting with Matthew Harris, she said that she felt uncomfortable. Now, when it comes to beta males, whenever you feel uncomfortable, you definitely need to trust your instincts because your instincts are trying to keep you safe because it's telling you something is wrong with this individual. And that was shown to uh, everyone when this man went out here and moved from the Duke University all the way to California. Now, your beta males can are often insidious and oftentimes they will try to appear to be your friend and that is what happened here in the case of this female college professor. Now, this female college professor thought she was networking with Harris and she thought she was going to form a professional connection with him as she is as he was working as a lecturer at ucla where she worked but what she didn't know was that this guy was stalking her because what happens with your beta males is they go out here and they will go out here and move to an area where there's a woman that they like and they will do this making it look like they're doing this for their career but in actuality these men are stalking the women that they want to get involved with, and that's what happened here. Now, this professor didn't know how erratic this man's behavior was until he started sending her a, a lot of emails and text messages, but this man's behavior had been on the radar of UCLA staff because he was sending out pornographic videos and pictures to staff, and that's what put him in a situation where he was in trouble in addition to him going out here and getting a lot of low ratings as related to his work but a lot of these guys the beta males they they wind up being poor performers at work because they're so caught up in their obsession with a woman that they don't focus on their work now your Harris had been participating in other behaviors that were extremely erratic, such as sending out emails that talked about, out, that were filled with a lot of racial slurs against Jewish and East Asian people, and he often time, and he on out here making a of, of videos talking about mass shootings, and this is again par for the course with your beta males, because when these guys can't get the world to work the way they want, they become ticking time bombs, and this guy was a ticking time bomb that was waiting to go off, and thank God the police were able to get to him before he could go out here and do harm to others. Now, this man's mental health had been in a seriously shambled condition because people knew how dangerous he was, and again, UCLA had placed him on investigatory leave for predatory behavior when he sent out pornographic and violent content to students and even his mother said that she had gotten an email from him saying that he wanted to put a bullet in the skull of the female professor who he was harassing and 
She said her son sent her email saying that he wanted to move to the Irvine campus where the professor worked so he could kill her. So that definitely shows a pattern of stalking this woman. And I believe that this woman was the fixation for his obsession that led to his really erratic behavior and his really poor performance as a worker. Because in the case of a lot of beta males, once they fixate on said person, they really don't focus on performing well on the job. Now, the university re sought a workplace restraining order on Harris last May, and they managed to get a temporary one against him and as re after he was released from a mental health facility and was back in LA. And then a longer protective order was placed on him. And thankfully, that re re protective order was in place because it would it definitely stop it put this guy on notice and it also let people know that this guy was a clear and present danger because he was looking to go out here and do harm and i believe the main reason why he wanted to do harm is because he felt angry about this female professor rejecting him and because he felt angry about this female professor rejecting him he wanted to go out here and participate in a violent incident like a mass shooting. Now, this woman had nothing to do with, with the way this man behaved, and this is something everybody needs to understand with beta males. Oftentimes, these men fixate on a woman, and oftentimes, because they're fixated on this woman, and they're obsessed with her, they make her a part of the fantasy that they've built around her, and that is the reason why these men wind up going out here and getting so crazy with their behavior is because this woman does not fit into their rose-colored reality and does not fit into their world and make it smooth. So because this woman is her own person with her own thoughts and ideas, this man gets really angry. And this is something that beta males do because they want everybody to be what they want them to be and they don't accept that people are who they are and because people are who they are the, and not who they want them to be this is what makes these males angry this is what makes these males f get filled with rage and it makes them want to destroy the world around them because a person is not the person they want them to be and that is what makes your beta males like this my Matthew Harris an extremely dangerous individual because these kinds of individuals, they want every the world to work one way and the world doesn't work that way. And the main reason why a lot of these guys become like this is because of the dysfunctional way that they're raised. And I noticed in his case, just like the other case as related to a shooting in Virginia, the mother was the one talking about how her son had issues but the real reason for those mental health issues i believe is due to the way these males are raised and because they're raised in a dysfunctional fashion they have a rose-colored perception of reality and they expect the world to work the way they want it to work but the real world you run into real people and these men are not taught how to navigate the world as related to the way it works for men overall because these men did not get good male life skills or good male survival skills they go out here and try to make the world work in a dysfunctional fashion and that's what happened here with this beta male he just wanted to make this woman be a part of his world and if he could not have her as a lover he would have her as an enemy and what he wanted to do was send out this manifesto and post these videos and he wanted to do this to talk about how he wanted to hurt this woman because he felt hurt because he thought she rejected him but that was a delusion in his own mind because this woman didn't even know anything about him and she didn't even know he was interested in her all she saw was his obsessive disturbing behavior because when it comes down to the beta male because he does not understand the concept of boundaries and he does not know how to socialize with women he just constantly sends women emails and text messages not understanding that his behavior is extremely creepy now this male will definitely probably after his arrest either be going back to a mental health facility 
or he might possibly wind up in the prison system. And I'm hoping that somebody goes out here and gets this guy the help that he needs so that he does not wind up in the prison system where he will be definitely be beaten down and traded for your commissary like Raymond Noodles, Little Debbie Snack Cakes, and other assorted sundry items like cups of coffee because the, what happens here, again, is because these men are in crisis and these men definitely need some help in order to get them to understand how reality works because a lot of these guys they just don't know how the world works and this is why they go out here and participate in these disturbing behaviors clearly this man had never been taught about how to socialize with women and he did not he was not taught about boundaries and he was not taught how to cope with things like rejection and that is why he participated in this ex this extreme behavior sitting here writing an 800 page manifesto posting videos talking about threatening violence against a school and even before that participating in extremely erratic behavior that clearly showed warning signs of him being a man in crisis and while the school did do enough to try to protect her and the camp the female professor and the campus there there was no acknowledgement of the man crisis because this it just shows that we have again a problem here in America with America's men and this is the this what's really disturbing to me is that we're seeing an increase in frequency of these disturbing incidents and sadly no one is still connecting the dots five years later now five years ago I wrote the book the man crisis in order to show people what was going on as related to these men and the patterns of their behavior but sadly many in law enforcement and academia still have not connected the dots because these guys are not acting as individuals no this is a pattern of behavior that has emerged after we have raised boys for 50 years in a feminist society and due to the gynocentric way we have raised boys in places like single mother households where this guy possibly came from we are seeing a pattern of behavior where these males are going out here and participating in a spectrum of violent behaviors and these violent behaviors range anywhere from a screaming fit and it escalates all the way up to extreme violence like mass shootings like this male was preparing and things like stalking which is what this male was participating in over the course of the last couple of years because he had become fixated and obsessed with this woman and because he could not have this woman he was going to, he wanted to go out and hurt as many people as possible because he was never taught to navigate his emotions as a man and be able to accept that maybe this woman is just isn't interested in me and be able to move on because this male never got any male life skills or male survival skills he didn't know how to function in the world and yes he was a very intelligent man who could go out here and become a lecturer at a place like UCLA but he couldn't keep the job because he didn't know how to navigate through his emotions he did not know how to cope with life and this is something that happens to many beta males yes they will get success initially in places like academia and they will be able to work as related to academics but because these men don't know how to function socially many of these men wind up falling apart and destroying everything around them because even though these men are given the tools of success they become their own worst enemy and when they become their own worst enemy their whole situation turns into failure because these men do, again do not know how to navigate social situations they don't know how to go out here and approach things in a logical or critical thinking way and the, what happens is is like in this case this guy he meets a female professor he fixates on her he becomes obsessed with her and this leads him down a road to self-destruction instead of him focusing on going out here and getting his PhD and working on becoming the best professor he could have been but instead of becoming a professor he became a man in crisis and sadly this man in crisis 
wound up self-destructing and he wound up becoming yet another tragic individual in America's ongoing man crisis that nobody will talk about and nobody will acknowledge is a man in crisis because here in America we have not acknowledged how bad the man crisis is in this country and sadly we're going to see more incidents like this because America refuses to acknowledge the man crisis which is destroying th two to three generations of men all across America. Now if you want to learn more about why males like this self-destruct and participate in self-destructive behaviors you can pick up my book the man crisis on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format you can also find the man crisis in digital format on smashwords the ibook store barnes and noble and google play and it's a book that has woken up a lot of men helped transform a lot of men's lives and help men move their lives forward and break out of a paradigm of self-destructive behavior and if you want to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today.